This is an Atherin Blue Box SW1500, and we're going to put in the Rev1 motor. I'm going to give you a little preview, because it's already in there. But we'll go back so that you can see how we did it. Let's just take a look a little bit. Silicone drive shafts. Rev1 motor. It's DCC ready with a work platform. There's no lube, no grease, no nothing. This thing is is ready for a friend of mine to, he's gonna do the whole thing. This is in DC. Running very nice. Let's bring her back. All right, let's get into it and let's see how we did this and how we got the Rev1 motor to fit in there and upgrade this SW 1500. All right, what we gotta do, we only got three days to work and then I must make the trip to the train show. Okay, so what we gotta do is, this here is a blue box SW 1500. Undecorated. I'm trading this to a friend of mine who has the same thing that's it's painted. And I'm trading him this one because he wanted me to put a Rev One motor in this, and then then he can he has to do all the building then. Um, so let's let's first let's take a look and see how it runs. New in box, never been run. Straight out of the box works nicely okay so all we're gonna do is we're gonna do transplant and get it working and get it set up so he can put in he'll be putting in a decoder and stuff I believe he's gonna be putting in a tsunami let's go ahead and just, let's break this guy down here Take the spring clip first. All right. Then let us find our little pliers here. Let's take a look at these little knee joints. Uh -huh. Let's see. No, nope, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pop worms first. Let's go ahead and pop worms. Oh, pop worms off this guy. That guy. All right. Let's lift out worm gears. Okay. Good to go. Let us see if we can't. And we'll get to that in a second here. I remember how to pop these guys out. Oh, uh, what are we forgetting? So they they sit in a little round socket in here. Now we'll get to it. Let's go ahead and uh, pull the motor. Okay, the motor's out. Now headlight bracket. I'm not going to be using him, so he is coming out. It's coming off. There we go. All right, now we got him down here. Actually, we can keep these trucks in for now. And our motor is, should now be nice and broke in. We're going to be fitting this guy in there. So what we have to do is we're going to have to mill down a socket, then we'll shim him up, goop him in place, we'll set up a little bit of wiring and platform of some sort, and then we're going to use our silicone shafts. All right, so, whoops, let's get to it here. I'll get, I'll get everything ready to roll.
Okay. Forgot how these come out. Is they've got two tabs here. And you got to squeeze. You got to squeeze them and then drop them. Just like that. Squeeze. And drop. Get this guy stuck. Uh, there. Hooks up. Okay. How do we know which is front and which is rear on this? The front has has the tiny little thing where we took out the headlight. That's how you know the front. We'll also shave these down so that we get correct height to mount couplers on. Then we'll be good to go. Okay. Now, I'll get started making the cavity. All right, milling is complete. And before we take a look at it, let's take a look at something else. I've shaved down the coupler pads on both ends so that couplers are exactly the right height. And I've got two different kinds here to test it. This is a 148 with the snap together draft gear. This is a number five with number five draft gear. Same as always. Okay, so we're going to check and check it out just right. Let's we zoom in on that a little bit. Let's see here. Okay. So, now, since we're doing magnetic uncoupling, here's the magnet right. Here's the magnet right there. Should open, which it does. See that? Nice. Okay. This pin needs to go over the bottom of this lip. So you bend that with a needle nose pliers and got it at the perfect height. Now you're not going to have any trouble with this pin. Don't cut them off. Keep them. Because this, we're going to do a lot more of this. This is really cool. Okay, so that's one end. Let's take a look at the other end. Pretty good. And now I've made it so that if it's if it's too high or too low, just a tap on this on the mounting pad here will set the height just right. You don't need to use washers or nothing. So how do you keep them from going back and how do you keep them from doing this? Okay, there's a couple. Oh, how do you keep them from doing this? Okay, there's a couple ways. One, take some white glue tacky glue um, a friend of mine said crystal clear the stuff you make windows with put a little bit of that on the pad that way if you have to take it off it comes off you can peel off the old glue and, re and glue it again and you'll be good to go put a little bit of goop a dot right here on the screw it'll keep the screw from coming undone and that'll keep your couplers perfect for as long as you want when you have to change your mind no problem comes right off now let's look at the let's look at the milling cavity okay so let's take a quick top down look you can see kind of the outline there so I had to do quite a bit of milling here um, you could do this with a Dremel tool it would be hard but you could do it with with um, some of these kind of guys so anybody can do this. And the thing is, this does not have to be perfect either. It just has to be wide enough and long enough to set this guy in here where the shafts are roughly equally distant from this cross member right there on both sides. Okay, now what we do is we're going to we're going to take some thin lead. You can use anything. You can use styrene or whatever. And raise this up to the height so it'll meet the worm shafts. We want it to be level across. And that's really easy to do. We'll use goop to do that. And then we'll goop this in place and it'll be perfect. But we are going to also put leads on the, on the motor. So we don't have to... We don't want to put this in place without wires coming up. We don't have to trying to dig down in there and solder in there so we put those on first and then we're in excellent shape now to do this all right 
the milling done, I went ahead and I put some uh, Rust-Oleum Sandable Primer on here, black. And it's, it's a really nice matte finish, but that'll give him a really good starting point for the detailing that he wants to do. Now, we have a shimming solution. Okay, so first, and you, you don't need to use lead for this, but if you do, first I put in a very thin sheet in the bottom. You, whatever you want to use, it will work. All right, so we got to get him right in there. About like that. Then we use our tweezers here and position them just right. Okay. Oh, hold it. No, we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna we're gonna goop them. Then I'm gonna show you. Okay. So we're gonna put some goop on the bottom of this guy here. Some amazing goop from the hardware store. Yep. This is. Those, I know. If you're new here. Uh, this is the only thing we use to mount motors. And not screw them in or nothing. What we do is we shim them to height and then goop our shims. These guys, if you got these guys, you're going to use them to shim. If you're just a little over, tap this with your hammer. Flatten it out a little bit. That's why we like to use that. Let's get him in there. And then let's position him. Okay. That's going to stay nice. Okay, now, before we goop the motor, we're not going to goop the motor yet because we, we're going to set him up for, uh, we gotta, we're going to do some wiring on him and get, and get, get his wires up in there. Let's uh, see if you can look at this. Okay, now, the ideal... As always, is we want them to be straight across level. And this is looking pretty nice and level to me. Okay, if you can see that. Let's see if we can let's see if we can get you down here so you can see how nice and level it is. How about like that? Okay. So, oh, let me get these guys locked down. Okay. Now, every time we move, the worm lifts up. That's okay. They're nice and straight across. And we're going to use, of course, our food grade silicone hose with a one millimeter inside diameter and basically a two millimeter wall thickness. Not quite two millimeters, but it's. It's very close. Uh, sometimes this stuff is called one by four. Okay, so that's how it's going to go. So we're going to put some wires on them. And then we're going to set them in just like that and put in our drive lines. Okay, we're ready. Now, one of the things I had to do, so I needed to solder on these black wires that go to that plate right there. And I'm going to make sure that they're out of the way of shafts and things so to do that you take a file make a little scratching on that plate then you take some acid paste some of this stuff acid paste put a little bit on there do a little bit of solder tin it up and then you can attach your wire with some rods and solder and then you clean it off a little bit of acetone and We'll probably do something to protect that later. Or, I don't know, well, what we'll probably do is not do that. and Because we're sending this to somebody who's going to build the whole thing. All we want to do is make sure it's it's ready to go. And we'll we'll, we'll let them know that uh, uh, should protect those plates. We don't need the plates now. Those plates under there can be coated with something because we got our wires. So what we're going to do then. Now, on this particular model, to to uh, get it to go forward we need to turn towards us okay the motor is set up so that with the red wire is going to turn towards us all right so now what we can do we've got a little silicone shafts in there we're going to take some goop and we are going to go ahead on and uh, 
turn this guy over and you're going to goop him about like that that's how we're going to do this then we'll just stretch him up so he doesn't get any goop on anything and set him in there okay and then just make sure you lined up nicely looks pretty straight the, the silicone hose helps hold it in place and there you have it now he's mounted all right we'll do next I'm gonna put some wires on we're gonna test this in DC and then we're gonna wrap it that'll be done progress check Let's check it out okay so we've got our work platform and we've got, so we had to clip these clips. We clipped the arms off and we soldered to the inside of them. Now these are spring steel. So you gotta, you gotta file them a little bit, put a little bit of acid paste, and then you can solder on your wires. Same thing that we did down here. Let's see if we can find one. You can see down. Okay, down in there. Okay, you see black wire? Mm-hmm. Soldered on down there. Just out of the way. Just right. Then we got the motor. Get the motor leads brought up. And this is the front. So all the reds are on the right. And all the black wires are on the left. Just like it's supposed to be. So now all we got to do now, we're going to put a temporary PC board right here and connect all the wires up to it. And we're going to test it in DC. If it works, we're done. We're done. I'm going to ship it out. And he's going to trade me his. That's like this. His is painted. He wants to paint one. And I'm fine with taking a painted one. But, wow, that looks nice, doesn't it? And that is an SW1500. So let's uh, clean this up. And then let's try it. All right. Let's check it out. Oh, look at that. He switched just prime. He has no grease or no lube or no, no nothing. Because this one, <clears throat> I'm not building this one. All I'm doing is putting in a motor and I'm trading it for the same thing to a friend of mine. Tell you what, though, grease some gears and everything. Oh, this thing runs good. Here we go. Next to nothing for power on. And nice slow movement. We got slow. We definitely got slow. We can go super slow. All right, we're gonna look under the hood one more time. All right, last look. There it is. Um, there's our work platform. And I've got a little PC board on top and I left the wires extra long so that when he does this and puts it in his decoder and everything, he's got some wires to work with. How are we just gonna wire that up? Runs pretty nice. Let's, let's zoom out a little bit. Excellent control. You want him to go slow? He can go slow. He doesn't go super fast, but he's got power. And there it is. We're done. I'm going to send it off. We'll see how he does it, how it turns out. But there it is. That's all there is to it. That's pretty nice, huh? Very simple. The only tough part is making the cavity to put the motor in and then shimming it so we can put in the drive shafts. 
There it is, silicone drive shaft, Rev1 motor, work platform, DCC ready, ready to roll. And we're going to call it. That is it.